As you can see in the top left, we have Sairos minimap. I'm going to teach you how to download and install Sairos for Minecraft 1.20.6 in this video. Let's go ahead and get started. Now, step number one to get Sairos minimap is to go ahead and download and install the mod loader. In this case, we're going to use Forge. And if you want to install Forge, go ahead and click on the second link in the description and scroll down until you see a step one and then click download Forge here. That will redirect you to the official Forge website where we're going to select 1.20.6 right here on the left side. Just make sure you select the right version and then go ahead and click on installer. That will redirect you over here where you have to wait five seconds and after five seconds you will see the skip button appear right on the top right go ahead and click on it and then that'll begin the download for the forge installer we're gonna need to install forge in order for us to install any mod after that and installing forge is super safe once forge downloaded let's go ahead and try and drop it into our desktop and before we keep going with the tutorial this video was brought to you by epix hosting if you're looking for a minecraft server either java or a bedrock server a server that is hosted online and that is open 24 7 so your friends could join at any moment then apex hosting is the right service for you they have locations all over the world and the most important thing is that you don't have to use your own ip address you don't have to expose yourself or you don't have to to waste your computer resources running a server because apex hosting will do all of that for you they have support for over 200 mod packs with just a click of a button and you could get that server set up in less than five minutes use the first link in the description for 25 percent off and let's keep going with the tutorial now after we downloaded forge we're gonna need to download Sidos, right the mod itself because we now have a mod loader but we need the mod go ahead and click on the third link in the description which is the download link for Sidos, and now scroll down and click where it says download Sidos minimap that redirects you over here where you're going to scroll down again and you're going to find Sidos 1.2 20.6 for Forge. As you can see, you have multiple mod loaders in here, like Neo Forge, Fabric, and Forge. But in this video, we're doing it for Forge. The reason I chose Forge is because I think it's the easiest one. You don't have to download anything extra, and it's super straightforward to install. So go ahead and find Saedos 1.20.6 for Forge, you can always use the filters and then go ahead and click on these little three dots that appear right next to it and click download file. And again, after five seconds, your file will download automatically and you will get the file like this. Go ahead and drag and drop that file to the desktop, just like we did with the Forge installer. It is a jar file, just like the Forge installer. And talking about jar files, guys, for the next step, you're going to need to have Java 21 installed on your computer because these are jar files. And in order for us to install them, we need Java. And I'm not talking about Minecraft Java. I'm talking about Java as the programming language that allows you to install this type of file. See, the thing is that any Minecraft above Minecraft 1.20.5 will require you to now have Java 21. If you have watched my videos in the past, you know that you needed Java 17 most of the time. But well, Java 17 is now outdated. You will need Java 21. If you don't have Java 21, I'm going to leave this guide in the description on how to download and install Java 21. It's super simple. It is just like installing any other Java. You download the Java 21 file and then you install it by clicking next, next a couple of times. And that's it. Just make sure after you install Java 21 to head over to add or remove programs right here and remove any older version of Java that you have. If you were to have any questions about this, let me know down in the comments or let me know if you want a specific video for this specific thing of installing Java 21. Anyways, once you install Java 21, you are now able to open the Forge installer. That's the reason I said that you needed to update Java because many of you won't be able to open this. So let's go ahead and double click on the Forge installer. And as you can see, we're going to get the Forge installer to open just like this. But many of you might not get this and that is because you have an outdated version of Java. Okay, so if you get something like a website or, or a text document or something like that, just go ahead and update Java. Once you open the Forge installer, go ahead and click on install client. And before you click on OK to install Forge, make sure that Minecraft as well as the Minecraft launcher is completely closed. Now you could go ahead and click on OK and wait for Forge to install, which should actually be quite easy and fast for Forge to install. Let's wait for this to finish. And as you can see, Forge finally finished. Let's go ahead and click on OK in here. And now we could even delete the Forge installer, which is this jar file in here, as well as this little Forge document that appears when you install Forge. Now all we have left is Saedos minimap, which is the mod that we're going to add to Forge. Go ahead and launch your Minecraft launcher and wait for the minecraft launcher to open by the way guys installing forge is not going to change your game if this is the first time you're modding minecraft the only reason we install forge is because we need a mod loader to load the mods into the game but your game is still going to be the same you're still going to be able to play all the worlds that you had and stuff like that everything is the same this time you're just using a mod loader anyways if you install forge properly you should see forge selected here automatically like this the reason mine wasn't selected automatically is because i had already installed forge in the past this is not the first time but if it is the first time for you you will see forge in here once you see Forge in there, head over to installations and now make sure that modded is selected because if modded is not selected, we won't see Forge in here. And now we're going to open this little folder that appears right here. However, if you don't see Forge in here, just click on new installation, name this whatever you want. Like for example, I'm going to name mine Apex Hosting, best service to get a server if you use the first link in the description. And then in the version, you're going to look for Forge. As you can see, mine is right here, release 1.20.6 for Forge. You're going to select Forge and then you're going to click on create. That's in the instance that you don't see Forge in here. But if you see Forge in here, just go ahead and find Forge hover over it 
and click on this little folder that is going to open a folder with a lot of files in it but we're just looking for a specific folder called mods m-o-d-s and our mods folder should be right here as you can see it's just called m-o-d-s in the case that you don't have the mods folder in here you could just go ahead and create it and i went ahead and deleted mine so you guys could see i don't have the mods folder now just right click click new click folder and just type m-o-d-s as the name for the folder mods go ahead and open that folder app and now just drag and drop the Cyrus minimap into this folder just like so. We now have the minimap in the mods folder. We go head back into the Minecraft launcher and launch the Forge instance. If you launch regular Minecraft, you won't see the minimap working. You have to now open the mod loader that we are using, which in this case is Forge. Let's go ahead and click on play. Click that you understand the risk of playing modern Minecraft and click play again and wait for your game to load. Now that Minecraft has opened, let's go ahead and test out if our mod is working. Now, since Aeros is a client side mod, this could work on multiplayer or single player. Let's go ahead and just launch a single player this time. But yeah, if you have a multiplayer world or a multiplayer server, it should work. And if you're using Apex Hosting, of course, it's going to work. Okay, let's go ahead and launch our single player world. And as you can see, we have the minimap on the top left is loading right now. Yeah, Cyros is working, guys. And the great thing about Cyros minimap is that you could change the settings of it. If you press the letter Y on your keyboard, you could change the settings and you could move the map around. You could change the position, the shape of it. You could change anything that you want really using Cyros. You could add waypoints and stuff like that to remember where your home is or your base or anything that you want to do you could do using Saeros and again that is letter Y on your keyboard to get this menu right here anyways guys has been everything from me in this video I hope you learned how to install Saeros 1.20.6 for Minecraft if you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a comment and subscribe and as always bye bye